creator, he was of noble height. Wait a minute. He was of noble height and of beautiful symmetry. He was more than twice as tall as men now living upon the earth. You can imagine that. So that's from six foot four. Oh, wow. Can I say Adam was 12, eight? Wow, that's really tall. Anyhow, that's another story for another day. And was well proportioned. His features were perfect and beautiful. His complexion was neither white nor sallow, but ruddy, glowing with the rich tint of health. Eve was not quite as tall as Adam. Her head reached a little above his shoulders. She too was noble, perfect in symmetry, and very beautiful. So as beautiful as the women think they are now, Eve was the most beautiful woman that ever lived. She came from the creator's hand like that. Man, from, man came from the hand of God, perfect in every faculty of mind and body, in perfect soundness, therefore in perfect health. God endowed man with so great vital force that he has withstood the accumulation of disease brought upon the race in consequence of perverted habits and has continued for 6,000 years. So when God first made man, he had tremendous vital force, tremendous power, tremendous strength. That is why he was so tall, he was so strong, he was so handsome. Never another man or woman walked this earth like Adam and Eve. Now it says here, if Adam at his creation had not been endowed with, listen how much, 20 times as much vital force as man now has, as men now have, the race with their present, sorry, the race with their present habits of living in violation of natural law would have become extinct. Imagine that. God knew that sin was going to come on this earth. So God gave man 20 times as much power back in the day, as you call it, back at the beginning of time, so that it, as, it, as it was decreased over a period of years, over a period of 6,000, nearly 7,000 years, now we get to the state where we are, where we feel very good that we left 100 and the governor general comes and gives us a little hamper. We feel really proud. But back in the beginning of time, man had nearly 7,000, 8,000 years of living. Imagine that. You're living long enough to see it. Children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandchildren, great great great, all the greats you want to call it. Adam was around for an extremely long period of time, almost living to almost a thousand years. So, created to be the image and glory of God, Adam and Eve had received endowments not unworthy of their high destiny, graceful and symmetrical in form, regular and beautiful in future. Their countenances glow with the tint. <laughs> Their countenances glowed, glowing with the tint of health and the light of joy and hope. They bore in outward resemblance the likeness of their maker. Isn't that not a beautiful passage? It was taken from Education, page 20. On my life today, page 126. God gave to our first parents, this is a very important part now that will get me onto what I'm getting to. God gave to our first parents the food that the race should eat. It was contrary to his plan to have the life of any creature taken. There was to be no death in Eden. The fruits, the fruits of the trees in the garden was the food man's wants required. The fruits. How many of us eat fruits every day? How many of us eat fruits? How many? My belief, this is my belief, is that God knew that man after nearly 7,000 years of existence would have lost most of his power or vital life force. And in order to maintain what little he had left, he should keep as close to the original creation diet as much as possible, which consisted of what? Every green herb I have given to you for me, although that too has been damaged by the entrance of sin, man in his original diet ate such a large quantity of green foods that that was responsible for his immense longevity. His intake of vitamins and minerals 
has to be tremendous. I firmly believe that in order to live healthy, disease-free lives, we should be striving as much as possible to keep to that kind of diet where our intakes of nutrients are extremely high. This can be achieved through juicing. What is green juice? Green juice is simply a beverage made out of mixing a handful of green vegetables that contain a rich source of healthy fiber, antioxidants, phytonutrients, and naturally occurring minerals, vitamins, folate, vitamin C, potassium, and much more. Now, that was just telling you my belief. And this is why I like juicing. Listen, let's go through some of the benefits of juicing. This is my main one. This is the one I like the most. Reduces inflammation. Now, when you're young, you really don't have much problems with inflammation. The Lord has endowed you through youthfulness with the ability to fight inflammation better than those who are older. That's why even with this whole COVID system, this whole COVID thing that's going around, the younger people are less susceptible than the older ones because as you get older, your level of inflammation increases. Any kind of inflammation is the body's way of responding that something is not right. Be it any kind of allergy, children got allergies enough, rashes, bumps, or other reactions in the skin, or burning sensation, irritation, something, but both me don't feel right, you know? Falling and upset stomach. Inflammation in the body internally or externally is simply bad, and often results in the formation of many chronic illnesses, if not looked after properly. In fact, diseases like obesity, diabetes, cancer, or stroke can all be traced back to the first signs of inflammation. A glass full of nourishing greens is the best anti-inflammatory portion that you can give to your body. It will help your body perform better. And I, I like performance. I love performance. It will help your body to perform better by keeping the vital organs functioning optimally and in turn, your health for a really, really long time. So that's why I use most of my green leafy vegetables to reduce inflammation in my body. When I was younger, I loved to eat sweet things. I would sit down and eat a whole loaf of bread myself. I drink a whole liter of Pine Hill dairy juice myself. Going home from church, you stop at the automart and you buy what we would think were healthy muffins or cupcakes. But they were not healthy. They were made of tremendous amounts of flour, lots of sugar, looking really sweet, like a nice muffin top thing with uh, cranberries and things thrown in, but those are, might have been fake, you never know. And I would eat all of them myself going home, not sharing much of them with the children. You know, and think it was being healthy for myself. No, it was killing myself. So for me, drinking a lot of green juices helps to bring down my inflammation levels that I have been raising to an extremely high level over the years. Now let's go to number two, alkaline benefits or effects. When our bodies are more acidic, elements like calcium, sodium, Potassium and magnesium are taken from our bones and organs to help neutralize the excess acid causing mineral deficiencies. And we all know what acid foods are. What's sweet in your mouth is usually acid in the body. I won't bother telling you the beer, just saying for that, but we know exactly what it is. Consuming your green juice first thing in the morning is the best way to kickstart your day. That's because our bodies are usually more acidic in the morning and consuming your green juice made of fresh leafy vegetables and fruits can dramatically change your pH levels and keep you energized for a long. So I like to put in my green juices in the morning. Sometimes I don't always get a chance to, depend on what time I move at and depend on what schedule I have planned for the day. But usually I try to get in my green juices every single morning. It also helps to improve digestion. A lot of the green juice is purported to have probiotic properties. Probiotics are tiny living organisms that aid the process of digestion in our gut. They are also called good bacteria. There is reasonable evidence to suggest that certain compounds in fresh juice, 
function as probiotics to support the growth of good bacteria in our digestive tract. And we've been reading, I don't know, for those who read a lot or are always on the internet like me, checking out things to get my body to perform even better, I have found out that your, your gut is your second brain. If your gut is not working properly, your brain neither works properly, then the rest of you don't work properly. So therefore, you have, if, you, if your gut is in very good, optimal health, then your brain is rather clear to be able to comprehend the word of God, to comprehend your schoolwork, to comprehend just about anything. So get that gut working properly. It's also very good for, it's very high in bioavailability. What really is bio, bio, bioavailability? <laughs> A glass of fresh vegetable juice is the most bioavailable nutrition you can give to your body, meaning it is very easily absorbed by the body. How much people will get up because we have been so accustomed to a morning breakfast where we get up somewhat like the Americans and we got to look for something meat to put inside the bread or some cheese to put inside the bread or some sort of tea to drink to break air. I don't know what air is that we are breaking, but I don't really get air at all. But some people have to get something hot in their stomach so they got to drink some Milo, some Ovaltine, some Horlick, some sort of drink to drink. Me, I get a glass of green leafy juice. Unlike multi multivitamin tablets or capsules that are synthetic, some of them that is, in nature and made in the laboratory, green vegetable juices have natural minerals, vitamins, and enzyme and active enzymes that are good for your body. Vegetable juices and broth usually get absorbed within 15 to 20 minutes of intake. So I say, well, every Sunday, once in the rain and falling, right from here, right down by the gym in Black Rocks, I used to Eagle Hall, show the friend of mine and right back home. And that usually takes me like 47, 50 minutes to get to Eagle Hall, so 55 minutes to get to the gym, an extra five minutes. And then it takes me just over an hour and five minutes to get back home. My record is to get back home in two hours or under from East Point in St. Philip to Black Rock in St. Michael and back home. Two hours of riding, and they usually put in a nice green juice before sometimes, but I'll tell you what that's put in as well. So in the bioavailability area, green juices cleanse and detoxifies the system. Juice, juices leave stomach immediately and enter the intestine, keeping you hydrated. Therefore, it is a good idea to consume green juices on an empty stomach or one hour before meals anytime during the day. Usually people drink this to give their stomachs a break. If you have been gorging on high quantities of carbohydrates, which sometimes we do, and protein that has left your tummy feeling acidic, meat leaves your stomach acidic, and bloated, then resorting to a quick green veggie juice for a few days is a great way to relax and smooth and soothe the stomach. Well, for me, some days, I don't always put in the green juice, but what I will do, I will show you later, is that I take a whole green aloe leaf, and I cut it up, scoop up that gel from the inside, add some pineapple to it, and I add some of the pineapple skin as well, as well, blend it all up, and I drink it down, and I fill my bottle with water, or my bottle with water and um, magnesium, as a little extra boost, and I will right from here to Eagle Hall, and back, only coming back, I will start to drink the water, because somehow, the aloes is very hydrating to the body. Some people might say overdo, but for me, I am not overdoing anything. That is your choice. If you want to eat one little tiny piece because you just can't handle the taste, aloes is nothing for me to eat. All right. What else do I do? What else does green juice do? It builds your immunity. Did you know that broccoli, kale, and spinach are good sources of vitamin C as well? As a matter of fact, well, they are. Your green juice also has a good amount of water-soluble vitamin C in it. And, and if indeed, you can also add a dash of lemon juice to enhance its taste and effect. Some people just like to have a taste, you know? They like to consult the taste buds. Me now, I used to consult my taste buds when I was much younger. And when I was young married, taste rule. But now my taste buds have to shut up. Whether it tastes bad or good, it going down. Because I'm at the stage now in my life 
do I have to preserve what little I have left? All right. Vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant. Very powerful antioxidant known to improve immunity. It reduces oxidative damage of the cells, heals cuts and bruises, helps in better iron absorption, reduces stress, and is in many other metabolic, metabolic bodily functions. Um, that is why I honestly believe when Adam and Eve were first made and God gave them a diet rich of fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains, I don't think you could put the amount of vitamin C there we're getting into a bottle that we are selling here in Barbados. Right now, I take on a regular basis 10,000 milligrams of vitamin C. You get say, whoa, that sounds like a lot, thousand, thousand. The word thousand seems to scare you. Some people say, oh, you can take a little one, thousand here and there. I'm not interested in that. That's entirely up to you. You have your choice. I have mine. But I remember reading about a gentleman named Dr. Linda Spalding, the man who believed in high dose vitamin C. Some people will tell you, you're going to exercise caution because too much vitamin C will get kidney stones and such like. But I ain't have no kidney stones up to now, so I will continue. When I see a kidney stone, then it will probably stop. But for right now, the form of which I take vitamin C, I take vitamin C in the water-soluble form, and I also take it in the fat-soluble form because I buy something called like somal vitamin C, and it is very, very easy to absorb and gentle on the stomach. Um, and I keep my vitamin C levels high because from looking at how Adam and Eve ate their food back then, they had to be getting thousands upon thousands upon thousands of milligrams or whatever grams you want to call it of vitamin C back then. But our race has lost a lot of the power that it had in the beginning. And now, we have also lost a lot of the power or the energy that can be on the vitamin C and the different minerals and vitamins that can be found in, in the fruits that we eat right now. So for me, I think that as we get weaker in strength and in every area of life because of sin, we should be increasing our intake of fruits and vegetables, nuts and grains to an even higher proportion. We will never reach what Adam and Eve were eating at to give ourselves that such a, such a longevity. But we will realize that as soon as you go on your YouTube and you watch some videos on the people, about the people who live long around the earth, you realize that these are people who eat a lots of fruits and vegetables and nuts and grains. They're into green juicing. They're into eating a lot of green foods all day long. They're nothing like us. They hardly eat cooked food and they're doing very well. Now, it hydrates your body. Green juices contain mostly water that aid in hydration, especially in the morning when our bodies are low in energy. Instead of going for tea, they just like to go for tea or coffee. Many people, you know, like to drink a cup of coffee, but not, not as Adventist. Like people usually do, it is way better to opt for a glass of green juice. It will help you flush out your system and also hydrate it with good amounts of electrolytes while helping it to become more alkaline. And I can tell you, if you drink a cup of green juice before, like me, but sometimes I do before I go and ride. I can't get through that door. Sometimes I'm walking through the door with the bicycle in hand, and I have to turn back to it calling me. And then, think, then you gotta go back again. Sometimes I go, I go to the bathroom twice. And in rare occasions, sometimes three times, because the green juice takes the active part of working and flushing the system immediately, so that when I'm going down the road, I feel light as a feather. And I'm riding even faster. And I hope to improve on that ride tomorrow. The next one here, it says, improves energy levels. I talked about that. Our bodies are made up of around 100 trillion cells that get healthier and clearer as you continue to drink your juices. Plus the hydration and gut healing benefits of green juice, make sure your skin is glowing from the inside out. It's starting to glow again. I want to make that last all of my shine. <laughs> and... It is in weight loss. It is in weight loss. Now, Steve Cotterson here speaking to you was weighing like 252 pounds December last year. My weight is now down to 227, 228. At one point in time, earlier up, it was down to 218. And my good brother, Brother Duggan, tell me, Steve, I think you're a little too extreme because I was doing these steps. 
out there star star the three times on evenings go running around the garrison eight and nine times on tuesday evenings still working during the week and still working out in the gym but i had a mission to accomplish i needed to have my blood pressure really low and the last thing brother Duggan checked it, it was like you know 16 over 60 something and it has never been that low ever so what i was doing drinking the green juices drinking lots of water reducing the amount of food they was putting into my body, exercising more, getting more rest. I was actually reversing a lot of the damages I was actually doing to my body over the years. So it helps in weight loss. Green juices are basically low in calories and high in nutrients. They can be a great substitute for a mid-evening snack or breakfast. Since green juices, uh, since green juices help in improving metabolism, they can be used for weight loss when consumed with other sources of carbohydrates and protein. It is better to consider green juice as another serving of vegetables and not as a complete meal replaced by a complete meal in itself. So that brings me to the end of my talking to you about the benefits of green juices. And what I'm going to show to you now are some of the different things that I juice. As we come down here on the slide, we can see we have something called amaras. I don't know how many of you know about it. It looks like a wild bush. In um, Trinidad, they call it baji. I think in Jamaica, they call it baji as well. But it looks like a wild bush. If you don't clean around your house regular and you allow the bush to grow up, it grows up naturally by itself. And most of us Bajans consider it a nuisance or a bush that we don't care to use. And there's a rasa guy out with me who got me on this whole water drinking episode to help me to lose my weight too as well. He loves to use this. Kalaloo um, bush. Yes, correct, correct. This, 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 this. Just bring one up for me. They got stick in the water. Oh, yes, on the kitchen. Bring one of the ends for me. But only, only yesterday evening, I found out that you can actually eat the stem raw. I did not know. And it's nice and crunchy. Tastes really, really good. And my wife Get cooking and rice. Yes, yes, it's the nurse. You are correct. Here's another picture showing it. And it has something that looks like a cat still sticking out here. Um, and when I'm really doing my stir fry in the kitchen, I cut it up too, but I like to juice it as well. Very good, sister nurse. You are correct. Here's another picture showing it yet again. And there are some of them that are, at the end, it is kind of reddish in color. Uh -huh, yeah, that's one. Reddish in color. And most of them are usually green. Um, yeah, here two colors, red and green. Correct. Here I have a big piece in my hand. And what the rasta guy to me can do, I can tear this in, and I can just peel it like that. Just peel off the hard, fibrous stem like this. And I can take and do it there. And eat it almost like you're eating a green, leafy vegetable. And that actually tastes really, really good. What I can do for me later, I can't tell you. But it tastes just like eating raw celery. Very, and it has a crunch to it. Thank you very much, Josh. I will eat the rest of this. But it's very, very nutritious. So what we call bush, or weed, and we, trade with, and we spray with weed killer, stop doing it. It's very, very good. I learned this from my brother's wife, who is now deceased, Junior's wife. Yeah. Used to cook it a lot. Yes. The and only place that it don't use is in Barbados. Wherever you go, America, all over the place, it sells. Correct. You correct. Have to buy it. Yes, you have to buy it. And we yes. we have it growing well around your house. And we just like to spray it down and kill it. Saying that it's a weed. It's not a weed. It's very very nutritious. It contains a lot of vitamins and minerals. All right. Now, part of my juicing involves using. Now, when we talk about green juices, green juices just don't mean using something that's green, but involves using anything that is grown from a plant. Oh, my gosh. It's a Jamaican dish. Okay, my, uh, my son is looking at the um, different things that are coming in, but I wasn't looking at them. Now, here you can see that I have watermelon, which I give to the children. But you see this part here? I don't throw away anything on the watermelon at all. I use this to make drink. And I love it. If you come down here, you will see I have a big... 40 ounce container of watermelon skin juice. And I have found out that if you put it in a bottle, 
and they rave it in on mornings, I can rate three or four hours of rating. Yes, by drinking one of those before I leave, and having a bottle full with me as I go along. And you might be wondering what it is doing. Let me go on a little further. Okay, let's go, go down to the video, son. All right, my son is coming to the videos because he operates this thing much smarter than me. Purple dandelion. All right, here I'm showing you. And this one over here is called Baji. This is the red one, yes. sister nurse. This one over here is tarragon, another herb, very good. Over here, we got plenty of spinach. Spinach running all over the ground. Lots and lots of spinach. It grows better when it is underground. The spinach better. raise your pressure though, or your blood pressure though. Here we have some nettle bush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, spinach. nettle bush. Yes, very nutritious. That's good. Uh, like malaria or dengue. Yes. Anything so. Holly hot or? Mm -hmm. oh. You want to call it yellow dot? Yeah, yellow hawk. Oh, yellow yeah, hot. Yeah. Red amaranth. You can make a flower from the seeds here. All right, that was just one video now. Now, I'll tell you the reason why I use a lot of um, watermelon skin. It says here watermelon skin. L citrulline is a naturally occurring amino acid found in foods such as watermelon. It is also made naturally in the body. The body changes L-citrulline into another amino acid called L-arginine and also to a chemical called nitric oxide. So man, if you want to keep everything on your body working nice and smooth, start using your L-citrulline. It also says here, L-citrulline is an amino acid with several health benefits. It also appears to be safe. And there is currently no known side effects. This supplement may promote healthier blood vessels and lower blood pressure, especially in people with heart conditions or high blood pressure. I must see one of the reasons why my blood pressure is so low now. It wasn't this low before. I drink watermelon skin almost every day. I have to keep telling my wife, don't put these skins in the garbage. Just put them in a the container and put it back in the fridge if I'm not here to take them. And I will juice them when they come home. And I have two bottles full to drink before the night is out. All right, we'll go to one other video. Showing you something else. Well, this is my one of my favorites, which is a fairly controversial one. Just you can play the video. About to make my second COVID booster shot. All you need <laughs> is one pineapple to get two slices and one whole aloe leaf. Cut it up into bite sized pieces and then peel it. All peeled and ready for the blender. Ha ha ha. One shot is finished, but to the other one, I'll add a couple of blueberries to see if I can encourage somebody else to taste it. This one is the blueberry formula. Looking good. By adding blueberries, I've even made it more powerful. Ha <laughs> ha! Time to drink up and enjoy. Cheers! Good. Now, I, I call that a COVID shot. You know, because everybody's talking about getting booster shots and such like. I'm looking at things that will help boost my ability to fight COVID in this era. All right, here's a next video of my son to show you. I think this is now that you think your watermelon skin. There's nothing on the watermelon to be thrown in the garbage. After we are finished, we are going to strain it. Strain this mixture now and prepare it for drinking. Press out all the juice with your hand or a spoon. It's all yours. 
squeeze every drip of juice out and this is the dry part that can be thrown away all right that is one more video making my watermelon skin juice i don't want to add anything to the add taste so if you want to you can blend up blend up uh, what you call it uh ginger you got a little ginger to it but no sugar to none of these juices do we add any sugar sugar is a no no on my diet no sugar at all if you put sugar into these things you're spoiling them here's another one oh, this is the same one <laughs> Orange, oh, this stuff no farming. Some people cannot get uh, aloes views at all. Me, I have acquired a taste for aloes, so I can just walk outside and eat it just so, even in the skin. But I'll tell you that that greenish juice that comes from the skin is kind of toxic to the body. So, whenever you cut a, uh, an aloe leaf, it's good to wash it thoroughly and wait, it, wait a bit until that dripping stops. And then you Cut off the prickly part on the outside and you scoop out only the gel on the inside. You're not supposed to use that green juice that is dripping. It is not good for the body. And then this last one here is another video that I made with. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to be doing Watch green this one. papaw leaf juice. Very, very good for those who have um, dengue. It has been proven in India that it really helps people to recover from dengue. The same properties are found in the papaya or the papaw. It's found in the leaves in even greater concentration. Watch as I make it now. So you're now going to wash the leaves, make sure that they are very clean, and break them up into little pieces. You can just pop them up and just wash them in plain water. I cut up now the papaw leaves and I put them into the blender. Some people prefer to put them, to just pump them up inside a piece of cheesecloth. But I prefer to cut mine up, add a little bit of water, and I blend it to get the juice. Right now we get the blending it up. So we can strain the mixture. I always use a metal strainer, I don't use the plastic one for some reason. Now we can pour my juice into a wine glass. You don't have to drink as much as me. You only use this if you have a very upset stomach or you have digestive problems, but it's very good for digestion and uh, it's very good for if you have dengue. All right, ladies and gentlemen, um, that is bringing us to the end of our little talk and discussion. I'll be opening up for questions in the next two minutes, but my son here with me, Joshua, can testify to the fact that when he had dengue, really, really, really badly, Joshua was unable to move out to the bed. How much days, Joshua? About two or three days? Or more? He said about a week. He was really, really weak. And I remember one day I said to myself, I can't afford my child being in my hands before. And I lifted him up as big as he is because he's almost my size. And I put him in the bathroom in my bath, put him to sit down in a chair. I didn't give the chair get wet. And I soaked him in water from the tap from head to toe i told him do not move he was trembling in the bathroom and then i say you see me i remember that somebody told me of this remedy of a, long, a long time ago get some green papa leaf juice and i i left home and i went all the way down to my school um out with the garrison and um i got the leaves and i gave it and i brought it home and i did exactly what i was doing there and I gave it to my son to drink. It tastes horrible. I'm not going to lie to you. I can handle aloes. I can handle Bobby Bark plain. But you see, drinking that, that is so strong. And you can smell, if it's one thing, you can smell green. And you can smell it in green papa leaves. And nonetheless, I gave it to my son. And he used it. And he tried it. And he drank it the evening time. I think I did it as Sabbath evening, too, when he was really weak. He drank it Sunday and Monday. But the Tuesday, my child was moving about with minimal problems. 
he was almost back to himself. Yes, he was small and frail and, and still feeling a little wiki wiki, but he started to feel better. But then when I did my research and do my reading on the same papa leaf, I found that it raises your blood plate levels. So everybody who I knew that had dengue, I kept calling them. I remember calling Danielle and telling her the same thing. My niece, I remember my sister in law, Letitia, had dengue too. I told her the same thing. And one or two children at my school that had dengue, I called their parents the same thing. And everybody has recovered just by drinking that green juice. So there's a lot of benefits in green juice. We can't name them all. It's impossible to name them all, but they all do a wonderful job because just like how you have the papaya, have having the enzyme in the papa that helps in digestion, there's even greater um, digestive powers in the leaf of the papaya plant. Ladies and gentlemen, I will stop there. Um, I see here in the chat, before we open up now, I see someone has said that dandelions are very good for women with cysts and fibroids and a lot more. My brother bonus boy, we ain't got that problem. Um, so, but we eating it for health and strength, but it is very good for women, I'm told, because it contains a lot of nutritive minerals and mineral salts. And it's very, very good. Um, somebody was saying callaloo and salt fish is, with ground food is very good. It's a Jamaican dish. Um, somebody say that that's the type of this. I want to say spinach raises blood pressure. Well, Google it. Studies show spinach reduces blood pressure. I think that's a Belgian thing where we usually say that too much green things or too much green stuff contains a lot of iron and iron will raise the blood pressure. But Brother Duggan will have to bring more clarity to us, more clarity on this area to us. Um, and I eat spinach a great deal. I, I think going to look on my table now, I have about four or five packs of spinach there, and those can be gone by now on Monday. Um, I, I don't really make spinach cakes like before because that involves a lot of friends using oil. I prefer to use things as green as possible. And although it might taste a bit slimy when it's going down, it's going down because remember, my tongue, this doesn't rule me anymore. It is the brain that works and tells the mouth to operate. Um, somebody said that they usually eat it and it doesn't affect their pressure at all. Someone says also the papaya is very effective, but you can you have to be careful. It drops your blood pressure fast. Uh, yes, it can happen. That is very true, very true. Because if I drink too much of that green juice, yes, my blood pressure will drop even more. So that same wine glass full, that usually is two servings for me. I usually use it like that. Um, and it's very, very good. Anyhow, I'll stop there and I'll open up for any questions or comments. Yep. Yeah, brother Steve, you said about um, frying the spinach Cakes, you can bake them, you know. There's it's no very, need to fry them. That is true, that is true. And I know that we have air fryers now. I see my wife now making the mixture and putting it on a container, put it on some flat container, putting it in the air fryer and frying them. But you know, Beijing, we have acquired a taste for fried things. And even if you put them in the air fryer, they taste a little bit weird. And they don't taste if they have deep fried in oil. But you're great, Sister Donna. Um, yeah. We got to change the taste buds. Is it cheap? Is it taste buds that's the problem? Correct. Anyone else? Yeah, brother Steve. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Yeah, spinach is good for the eyes as well. And it's, it's richer in vitamin C than oranges and all that. Right? So I have a spinach ready. Every day I use spinach. Don't care what cooking it is. Spinach must be in there. I did a spinach, uh, oaks, and peanut butter this morning. Right, as a shit. Okay. Spinach, oats, and peanut butter? Yeah, the good oh, shit. Very interesting you know? shit. I've never very tried that one so. yet. Very much so. With some soy milk as well. Okay, very good. <laughs> but, 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 oh, go ahead, go ahead, sir. But um, spinach also is good. As I said, I have something called zazantin, which is good for yes. You you talk about allergenin and the L what's the name again? Citrulline. Right. And that those are very, very good for the eyes as well and for the blood as well. Okay. Excellent. Thank you very stuff. much. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Bro, okay. give me the comment okay. here, the papa, says. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. The papa, the papa leaves, um, all the fruit leaves, every fruit, the leaves are much better than the fruit itself. Right? You mm -hmm. get more of the fruit leaves than in mango leaf, um, breadfruit leaf, and even the stem, when you get a breadfruit, the stem mm -hmm. from the breadfruit, you can use that as well, okay? That helps in blood pressure and all that as well. But I've never tried that, I've never tried that, but 
if it can be used. Once you show me how to use it, I will go train it. Because Brother Duggan was telling me about how about using um the seed of the pear. Very good. I found it kind of weird to be using the seed of the pear. I didn't even do my research on it too. And then even do some reading and some Googling and checking. Huh, this thing has been around for a long time. Very long time. Grating the seed of a pear and making a tea out of it or a drink out of it. And people have been using it with great benefits. Now, yeah. Brad Duggan made a comment here. He says, people are confusing raising blood, blood count with raising blood pressure. Spinach gives iron, which is good for hemoglobin. Spinach helps to lower pressure. It does not raise blood pressure. Thank you very much, Brother Duggan. Thank you very much for clarifying that. Um, we have like five minutes more. Any more questions or any more comments? All right, since there are no more um, questions. Pardon? Hello, good, good, afternoon. good afternoon. You can also use um, aloes with orange juice if you don't have pineapple. Correct, correct. It, it just I use pineapple because it gets some really sweet pineapples. But my trainer partner prefers to use orange juice. She she will go and buy the unsweetened orange juice from Pine Hill Dairy, and she will blend it with that. That's the only way she can take it. She cannot take it using uh, pineapple. But I prefer the pineapple because of the digestive enzyme or the digestive properties of the pineapple, along with the digestive properties of the aloes. I find the two of them complement each other, and I tell you, they have, they have empty your stomach easily on mornings. If you happen to eat a little bit too late at night, which sometimes has happened to me every now and then, if you go to sleep with your stomach a bit on the full side, which is, a, which is an injurious thing to do, if you get up in the morning, you just use one complete aloe leaf. Don't try eating a little piece. You're wasting time so you're eating a little square. That does nothing, absolutely nothing for you. Eat a whole leaf, blend it up, drink it off, I've been trying to get my wife to drink it. She would just take a mouthful and that's about it because she just can't stand it. Yes. But up to yesterday, I drank a, a big, uh, two, I call it two shots. I drank See, two shots it. yesterday and they worked marvelously for me. And I had a smooth bowel movement and it encourages you to empty the stomach more than once in a day because some of us, we only go to the toilet once in a day. I go to the toilet twice in the morning, sometimes during the day. Then later on in the afternoon, that's about it. I get about four movements and I like it that way. But if I don't put in enough fiber, you will find that you will only go to the toilet only once. So you it's welcome. very, very good for that. Yes, please. Yeah, you say your trainer partner use point here, they juice, but that's not juice. But and that's what she uses. Bad mm -hmm. worth drinking. It's better bad juice, huh? some oranges, and juice the oranges like you do. And you are correct. And you are correct. But she chooses to use orange juice because that's the only way she can get. Because she said, well, as she's doing a cleanup, she's staying home for the weekend. She can use the whole aloe leaf, but she can use orange juice. But yes, you are correct, because I was watching this gentleman on another YouTube video. When he's talking about juicing, he doesn't drink juice. He will peel the skin off of an orange and juice the whole orange with the what we call the piss or the pest on it. And the juice comes out white and creamy. He calls that his juice. And that's how a lot of people are drinking their juice. Now, that's the same way how I do mine at home. When I use a lemon, I just peel off just the yellow color off the lemon and I blend it, everything, rain, and I drink everything. And yeah. Correct. And, uh, Very good. Comes up with Excellent. Um, well, we are going to close here now. I'll just tell you some other things that I usually do, but this is not really connected with juicing um, per se. But sometimes when I really need to have my energy levels really high, without my muscles seizing up when I'm riding for long periods of time, let's say want to go up on an island ride or whatever, I usually take a quarter teaspoon of baking soda with one tablespoon of blackstrap molasses in at least 40 ounces of water and it's boiling water. And I let it cool and I drink that. I will find out that it's only after like three hours of riding that I will begin to get a little tightness in my legs. If I leave for before putting that in, without putting in the green juice or putting in anything, your legs start to get fatigued really easy because the lactic acid builds up in the body really, very fast. But if you want to have uh, a situation where you don't get tired, your muscles don't ache and in a lot of pain, even after they ride or walk or run, whatever you choose to do. Brother Bonus himself now, he uses um, pineapple skin and he runs with his bottle full of that water. Um, I have done that before, but then the children put, drink, put sugar with it and make drink for themselves, right? But... Uh, I have tried watermelon skin and because of the 
enzymes in water, uh, sorry, I have used pineapple skin. And because of the enzymes in the uh, pineapple skin, it helps, uh, helps your body to avoid fatigue when you're running along like Brother Bonus or like riding along like me. So these are different things that you can try. Uh, someone is saying in the chat that neem is a good product also. I have used neem only basically for upset stomach or if your stomach is not feeling really well, I have chewed neem leaves at school. The children consider it a very disgusting thing. And I'm going to tell the truth, it doesn't taste pleasant. But I remember when Brother Jack was having problems with his stomach at church a few years back. He was saying how neem brought him great relief. I picked up on the idea too. So when I go to school and my stomach feels upset and it doesn't feel well, I will go and wash off a few leaves at the top, five, six, seven leaves, put them in my mouth and chew them. And I would be at school making sport, they chew the same mouth, moo, they come a cow. But uh, I chew that up and I swallow them everything. And I also learned that from my head teacher who has since retired now. This is almost a year now. She has retired. She used to bring to school neem tea in a flask every day and drink it. And her blood pressure has been amazingly low just from drinking neem leaf. So it is very, 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 very good indeed. Right, right, yes, please. Right. You said you said it right, because it is deal with blood pressure and all them things. Intestinal worms, like yes. disorders. It, it almost like how papaya is used, because if you use too much, you will flat, you will flatten out. <laughs> 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 it, you gotta use it like teaspoonfuls or one shot because it is work is work very good mm -hmm. help you lose the appetite some skin ulcers all kind of these it is work for a lot of things mm -hmm. a lot I, of remember, I remember at one point in time i had this what's that white spots forming across my back just below my neck right so my wife about it and you know that when i drink the papaya leaf juice or the neem juice i don't know which the one which the two of them work but every spot disappear just so. But the name, the, name, the name is deal with a lot of these skin diseases. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the Indians actually use it for, for the time their hair start to break, I start to give it, they okay. go and get the neem leaves and, and treat their hair washing with that and stop that breakage to get the hair growing back long again. And you know, the Indians have got a lot of long hair. Yes, so Indians use it for damage here. For dandruff as well. Yeah, yes, anything in any scalp, anything with the hair, it deals with all of that. Yes, um, but then you will have some people who will also tell us um, we should exercise caution with neem. Um, in their reading of neem, they see that uh, you must have a, you must only use a certain amount, but what is that certain amount? I don't know. Um, I have been using myself as a guinea pig for years now when it comes to using certain things. Even, as, yeah. even when Dr. Duggan says try something, I go all out and try it to see like, what dose is good for me and what might be good for me might not be good for somebody else. So when it comes to neem leaves, I use like eight to ten leaves a day. Um, some people might say, then we just put two leaves in water. Like um, yeah, you can call it that. But most um, most but, of those... Um, those green products that are that have medical benefits, you don't care what it is. You still got to know what quantity you can use. Cause as Correct. I said, I use a, a, a certain amount of dose of neem and I had to go and lay down. <laughs> I mm -hmm. took too much. And that okay. was the extra boiling. So just like okay. papaya, if you use uh -huh. too much papaya, you're going to find yourself getting dizzy you, you might even black out if you use too much. So the same right, thing. You know, pressure so, can drop. Yeah, so you just got to know what you is know, your... True trail and error. Correct, correct, correct. It is very true, very true. Better start with the column up. Right. Right. So, so, very, very quick. Very, very quickly. Correct. So, so, so the EM here, then... You said, you, said um, you don't have to worry about it, but it's good for gallstones and a lot of other stuff, too. So mm -hmm. not only women, but just that it's highly effective on women. Cis fibers, menstrual problems, it, it actually attacks those things for women rapidly. Women usually say, I don't want none of that bushing, but that's better than going to the doctor and get an operation. Mm -hmm. You understand? Know because mm -hmm. they usually run and get a cis or fiber during the operation and then quit so 
they find themselves, uh, what do you call it? Endometriosis. And Endo endometriosis. That is come from a lot of infection through operation. So dandelion is a good source before you go to the doctor. Mm. But I know about dandelion, but brother bonus eating dandelion leaves raw. He would go say early morning and pick it when he's in St. George. Know, but I don't really find it much here in me since I'm I'm All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now five o'clock. We have come to the end. I'm thankful that for your contributions. I'm thankful that I was able to present to you. I have to go now and drink my little juice and come back on to hear Brother Saul. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Let us close with a word of prayer. Wonderful God and Father in heaven, we want to thank you for this opportunity where we can meet with your brothers and sisters here in Barbados and all over the world, for those who have tuned in, to hear a more of your amazing ideas that you have put down there in the Bible showing us that if we stay as close to the earth, stay as close to the original death as possible, we can overcome many of the ravages of diseases that are coming upon this world as we come to the end of time. Help us to be wise as serpent and harmless as doves, as doves, eating to your name's honor and glory and walking in a way that will bring honor and glory to your name. In Jesus' name we pray thanksgiving. Amen. Thank you, ladies Amen. and gentlemen. Thank you, Brother Carrington. You're welcome. And we are now going to turn over to Brother Saul. It is now two minutes past the hour of five. Brother Saul, the floor is all yours.